The railroad was busier than ever. No sooner had one train left the yard than another one arrived. Andrew was working so hard his wheels ached. Hubert had to go back to work on his branch line, so unfortunately he couldn't help. The other engines were tired too. Trains were getting heavier and heavier, and pulling them over the mountains was especially difficult. At last, the railroad decided to build new engines that could handle the heavy workloads. <sighs> are you sure these freight cars are all for this one train? That's what the order said. But it's so long and heavy. I don't think there are enough engines available to pull this train. Suddenly, the rails began to tremble, and a mighty whistle rang out. Andrew and all the freight cars watched in amazement as a huge engine steamed into the yard. Good morning, he said cheerfully. But Andrew didn't answer. He was too busy looking at the big new engine. He was longer than three of Andrew, and almost twice as tall. He had not one, but two sets of eight large driving wheels. You're the biggest engine I've ever seen, stammered Andrew. I know. My builders say there's no other engine as big as me. My name is Zed. My name's Andrew. Welcome to Cheyenne. What work will you be doing? I'll be taking heavy freight over the mountains. Andrew looked back at the cars he'd been arranging. You mean, like this train? Yes, indeed. But are you really strong enough to pull it? Ed smiled eagerly. Watch me, he said, and see for yourself. Ed backed down onto the train, gave two blasts of his mighty whistle, and started forward. Andrew watched as the long line of freight cars followed him. The big engine, without a single wheel slipping, gathered speed and set off down the main line. Goodbye, he called back. Until next time. Andrew whistled goodbye, still amazed at how strong Ed was. Ed thundered down the line, starting his climb over Sherman Hill. The freight cars giggled and said, He'll stall for sure. But Ed didn't stall. He reached the top and sped down the other side. He continued up into the mountains, where it was much steeper. The cars chuckled and said, He'll have to stick this time. Ed's pistons pumped. Smoke and steam billowed from his stack. The weight of the cars threatened to hold him back, but Ed didn't stop. His crew kept his fire burning brightly, and finally they made it. Even the freight cars were impressed. The other engines were amazed by Ed's strength. Word began to spread about him, and people started nicknaming him the Titan of the Mountains and the King of the Railroad. Ed was very humble and didn't let the praise go to his smoke box. But even so, some engines started to get jealous of Ed. But that's a story for another time.